Hello, everybody, and welcome to the fifth and final episode of Telltale's The Walking Dead for Season 2. My name is Raisin Brand. So, last episode, we got ourselves away from Carver's, um, you know, stronghold. We got away from there. Some characters died along the way, like Nick... Sarah, we left Sarah behind. Not sad about that. Oops. And basically, we had to find a safe place to go because Rebecca was having the baby and she successfully had her child. But the events of what happened in the last episode, at the very end, at the very end, I really regret my actions and i just again i am not gonna go back and i'm not gonna change it because that's wrong i'm gonna stick to my choices especially the ones that i make at that point in time and just go from there and i feel like we are going to witness a lot of characters dying in this moment right now beginning with episode five no going back even the title of this episode really makes me not want to play this episode because i'm i'm dreading the fact that we could lose bonnie we can lose mike we already lost rebecca she turned she died from her illness we could lose kenny we could lose luke previously on the walking dead we'll just have to see what happens killing one in order to save many is part of survival I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Keep it. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down. I wonder with the, the file, the, the thing there. This. Everybody be cool. Oh, do I not want to witness what's happening next? Oh, do I not want to do so? All right. And as always, this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Let's see what's going on. I swear to God. Someone's going to die from this. I just know. Someone is going to die from this. I just... I'm not ready to take this in yet. Obviously go towards the child. Come on. Hey! What are you doing? Clem! I gotta get the I gotta get the baby! Nice. I didn't even see him out there. That's why I grabbed the baby, dude. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us until he runs out of ammo. So quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. English, motherfucker! <laughs> I, kill every one of you. I can just 
just get over to that side of the wall. I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Okay. Cover me, all right? Shoot over to his woods. Yeah, okay. Good. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? All right. I'm not going. Nice, Kenny. Luke, are you okay? You oh, got me in the leg, but I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> we'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I was gonna say get more. Here, we're gonna put a bullet in this kid's hand. Shut up! Leave him around. alone, Kenny. He's just a kid. No, I'm ending this. Get out here, right fucking now. This is my shield, Natasha. Dude, we're gonna attack my queen. We're gonna attack my queen. We're gonna attack my queen. We're Get out here. Stop swerving, damn it! Fuck. Thank you, Jane. See, I knew she was gonna come back. Thank God. <laughs> Kenny. Beautiful. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Bonnie's okay. Kenny's okay. Jane came back. She's okay. Mike was shot in the shoulder. Luke was shot in the leg. Everyone survived. Okay. All that aside. Ooh. Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was intense. Yep. I thought, man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. Wow, well, they... Kenny was a walker. But it's different. He deserved it. He was trying to kill us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but it felt wrong. I know, but like still. But now we have this Arvo kid. Come on. <sighs> okay. Happy that Jane's back. That's right. I probably need to explain my actions as to what happened here. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. She did. Ken spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. Yes. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved Fair. the boy's life. I did. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. Yes. What do we do with Arvo <laughs> here? Shit! Hey, hey! Stop! Guys! Get off Guys, me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please. He's just a scared kid, man. He wasn't the one shooting at us. That guy's dead. Just because he don't have a gun doesn't mean he wouldn't have. Well, he didn't, so leave him alone. Is it his house? Food? Please. Please, I can thank you. Bullshit. No, no, it's true. We have plays. 
Not far. For food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Tenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. True. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. <laughs> Luke. Alright, well, everyone's alive. I'm happy about this, so we're good. Happy, happy, happy. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. Eh, just a little bit. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... That's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. Oh, well, shucks. Hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No, that would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. Forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Agreed. Everything he's been through. He's lost. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work... I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes. All right. I seriously thought we were going to lose somebody in that whole like shebang that happened there. But we didn't. So it's good. It's all good. All good. Ugh. Wait up! Wait. We need to stop. No. No, I'm I'm fine. Okay, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Penny, come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you! I say stop. You'd best stop. If you know what's good for you. He deserves it. He deserves to be treated like a human being. That's all I'm saying. After what he did, what happened back there was his fault. He lost all his people in one fell swoop. Ain't much we could do to him that'd be worse than that. Penny, please, ease up on him. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. 
Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. <clears throat> and it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. Do I? Not all like that. There are good men, too. My friend Lee. He was a good man. Lee! Well, I wish I had had a chance to meet him. Me, too. I wish he was here now. Me, too. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Get here. What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg, but alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop. Luke, you did everything you could. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca. Carlos, Sarah. They didn't die in vain. I wish I could believe that. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. Yeah. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. Luke's feeling bad about what happened. What? Really? But it's not your fault. Bad things happen and <laughs> really? you can't control it all the time. She's right. You don't go blaming yourself for this. All right. Can we drop it? Sure. Just, you don't need to hide shit like that. Thanks a lot. Bruh, come on. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's after, be after our um, surgical procedure we gave ourselves in the first episode, more like giving ourselves you stitches. But hey, it had to be done because they dicked me a new one I was and thinking we'd go left with me in Alvin the shed. Jr. What do you think? Alvin Rebecca Jr. She'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, uh, huh. yeah, I like Alvin, it. Jr. Alvin Jr. It is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ proves. Oh yay! Got there. Cause I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. It will not. I'm a tough cookie. Let's get it done. So how's it look? Let's see. <gasps> I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. We saw to that, didn't we? Oh, yeah! Alright. So, 
So, I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. <sighs> so, this is going to hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. Well, it's okay. <sighs> Holy fucking hell. <sighs> you need to stop squirming. <laughs> oh, Clementine. Yeah, okay. You're right. Okay, round two. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're going to be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm going to expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. He'll be tough, just like his dad. Boy, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. I feel that, <clears throat> you know, but in the end, it's Carver. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah, man. Sounds good to me. Let's get it on. <sighs> Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. It's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. I think we should spend the night here, if it's safe. It's a big if. Well, there's a fence, which would help with walkers. Maybe. And just try and have a calm, quiet night. Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. Of course, Kenny. I'll happily do so. No, that's all you. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. You're natural. Mm. Think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. <laughs> Here, I got him. Mike. <laughs> Come on over. It's safe. <sighs> I just, I don't trust this Arvo kid. I just don't. I just really don't. I would feel more safe with a bullet in his head. I know that's hard to say, but it's the truth.
Today's my birthday. Here as I can tell, at least. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. How can you even tell? Been keeping track of the days? Been a few times I wasn't sure I'd see my next birthday. Well, you did it. Guess that's, uh, worth celebrating. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. <laughs> Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. Man. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, <laughs> stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. I was saving it for a special occasion, and all it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. Feel a little guilty taking the first. Oh, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. <laughs> well... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Can't be too careful. Baby might be cold. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. <laughs> the good thing. She saved our ass. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Yes. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. <laughs> they were stupid. Because they did the I nasty. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Wants to get past all the dirt and guts. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. I mean, ten hey, minutes. it doesn't happen. Yeah, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right, it wasn't 10 minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. I know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I certainly hope not. He <laughs> well about kissing stuff. Uh yeah. Yes. Yes. That that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. Both <laughs> <both> of you. <laughs> uh, this is too happy. I love it. I love it. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you, Clint. I do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Whoa. The moves are working on all the legs. Worked on me. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry, it's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Okay. 
Oh, Jane. Oh, it's rum. They've got rum. Ooh. What kind of rum? They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? Maybe. I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. Why? I wasn't expecting to. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the <laughs> it? You know. Yeah, because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Want to sit? It's okay. Um, sure. <laughs> you okay? Uh-oh, busted. I better take that back. <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Ha! Huh. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. Oh, no. And it shattered into a thousand pieces. Wow. That's really stupid. Yeah, Clem. I was drunk. The problem with glass is, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Jeez. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Yay! That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Yay, I convinced Jane to go to the group. Wanna sit here? No, that's, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay, wherever you like. She's like, what have you done? <laughs> All right, well. Kenny, Kenny. Maybe not. There, there, little guy. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. I asked you not to drink. Girl your age? It ain't right. I know you think you're older, but you're not. Of all the things I've done that I've seen, I really don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. It's probably not my place to be telling you what to do. If I'm gonna just be honest, like... It's a nice night. It is a nice night, isn't it? Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. True. This is true. I'm there's sorry air for, for everywhere. After Sarita was... 
I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. Yeah, I did. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. I... I could have done more. No, don't say that. You did everything you could. I'm sorry if anything I said made you feel any different than that. It just makes me feel awful. I know I can be a real shit sometimes. Stop. Oh, it's true. But I... I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. I'd give anything for one more second with them. Play catch with Doug. Touch Katja's face. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. That's good that you think that way. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. Yay! By way of words, brought both them to the fire. Beautiful. Oh, so happy. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Hey, you clam. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Agreed. Alcohol helps. Hell yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. Whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. Kenny, please, don't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best. Leave to... me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! Stay put. He clearly wants to be left alone. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh. Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. Yay! I'm so happy that that was the case. You know, especially like during these times, social interaction is extremely crucial. Extremely crucial to have in times like these. So. Anywho, back to ourselves going to this storage sure place, wherever yeah, the fuck we yeah, have to I'm go. Yeah, I'm good. If I, if I 
I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been okay. saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm no. really starting to think you're full of shit. It can't be much further. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah. Shit. Jesus Christ. That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. Just really close. close. Come. Oh, AJ, I know. It's okay, mister. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Mm. Are we just gonna walk over? Is it frozen over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in American, asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Agreed. Let's wait the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. This makes me nervous, because what if it shatters and someone falls in? Like, hyperthermia is a thing. Like, it's a thing. And if someone gets it, we're fucked. God. Oh, God. I'm on edge right now. Nice. We're okay. Don't worry. Oh god, see? Oh, of course. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. We should be alright. Let's just get to the house. Nice and slow. Hey, stay with us! Fuck. That's two less to deal with. Fuck. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! Stop him, Kenny! Alright, Mike, Kenny, you're safe. Well, they made it. Yep. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. This is what I was afraid of. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just Bonnie, stay back. Just gotta be careful. Oh! No, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. You gotta get out of there, Luke. Yeah, Clem. I'm working on it. You need to help. No! Clem, go! Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! just go back for him! You're lied! You Stop do telling it. her that! Clem, look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Clem, you can make it, but you need to go! No, now. Clem, this I'm gonna is cover dangerous. you. Thanks, thanks. I'll be out in a sec, just, just keep shooting. You're not gonna make I, it! My, my, my leg! I just Hold need on, him. I got you. Rest a second. Uh, keep him off us, Clem! No. 
No, it's too much. Body? No. I gotcha. No, no. Oh my god. Shit! Too late. Clementine, stop! Nothing more you can do. Clementine! I'll look for something to start a fire. See, this is what I was afraid of. God, hey, Luke, they're just fucking gone. Jesus, we should have gone around. God damn it! We should have just fucking gone around. It just happened too fast. I said I started to go. There wasn't nothing any of us could do. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault. Agreed. Hey, no, man! So what? Kenny has a point. This is crazy. Why? Because your friend here turned out to be a shitbag after all. He's just a scared kid. This ain't on him. Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. And those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. Fucking commie piece of shit, Kenny! Fuck you! You thunder! Fuck the fuck, Kenny! Let him go, Mike. Get the fuck off of me! Fucking hate this kid. What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help? How is baby? beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Fuck! Like, I liked Bonnie and I liked Luke and they both... I thought I had matches. I've got my lighter. Like, as I was, like, smashing the ice to let him free, like, you know, they're like, no, stop, you're gonna, like, fall in, and I didn't want Clementine to fall in, and that was, like, really, really hard, because I basically just had to sit there and watch Luke die. God, that was awful. That was absolutely awful. I fucking hate this episode so much. You. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. And he's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Oh! Doesn't surprise me. He likes to get cars yeah, started. You should eat something. You okay? Thank you.
Mike's just looking out for Arbor. That's that's fine. Sometimes he's gone. he deserves what he's done. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. <sighs> I shouldn't have come back. No. No, stop it. This would happen. I knew it. <sighs> well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. Yeah, just give me a minute. I just want to... I'll watch him. <sighs> Clem. What's up? Just be careful. she have to say I know she was running her mouth what did she say oh well, we didn't talk about you really yes you, Kenny <sighs> what happened it's over but AJ needs us now we got to stick together on this thing all right come on let's see if the truck's gonna go Okay. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell. I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. <sighs> We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Yep. Did you turn it? Yes. Ah, damn it! We'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Kenny just really seems to be losing it. I just want to talk really quickly before I go into this house about just everything that we've witnessed thus far in this episode. So here's the thing. This is where I'm standing at this point. Like, you know, I was really thankful and really happy to see that everyone made it out alive 
out of the whole scenario when we were, you know, at gunpoint and everything after the stupid decision that I had made at that point in time. And thankfully, you know, they made it out alive and everything was good. I was like, this is too happy. And then in my mind, I'm just like, well, if this is too happy right now, something's just going to happen. Someone's going to die in this episode. And God forbid it's Luke and Bonnie, two characters at the same time. And like, you know, that, that was extremely painful to go through because I wanted to save Luke at that moment in time. I wanted to save Luke. But the more and more that I kept shattering the ice, the more of the risk that I was going to fall in. And I could get hypothermia. Not a good thing. So that was just extremely painful to watch. And then witnessing the group as we see them right now. Kenny is starting to not trust Jane. I don't know where this is coming from. Not a fan of it because I trust Jane 100%. Mike is just absolutely done with this group. It wouldn't surprise me if Mike just decides to get out of here and leave. And then, as in terms of Arvo, you know, if Kenny kills him, he kills him. And I, I honestly don't care about this character. If Mike decides, I'm going to free him and we're going to escape together. So, because Mike's done with this group, then so be it. Like, at this point, I don't fucking care what happens with Arvo. Just, this group's getting torn apart. <clears throat> and it's, it's, it's just incredibly rough to witness. Hey. Hey! Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. Damn it. <laughs> Seen that look before. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. Unfortunately, yes. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job, a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he yep. caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Maybe a diaper change? Seems like you've done that before. Hmm. I guess we're getting close. That's what worries me. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Yeah? I got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Oof. I can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Uh. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Oh my god. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of the Oh, Aw, that's even better. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Sounds like Kenny's making progress. He got it working. All right, Kenny got the truck working. It works, but I tell you. 
So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Penny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got loot killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Oh my Haven't god. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. Kenny, you need to chill the fuck God out. Damn it! Stay silent. You better talk some sense in him. For his sake. This is hard to watch. God damn it! God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just... Give me a second. Why are you poking at it? Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. This is different. How? Where are we going to find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. We all what do. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And... That we should keep moving. I think you're right. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? <laughs> That's right. I kind of forgot Krista existed, you know, you know I, after the first when episode. I first saw you back at that lodge. I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. Let's
Let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. <sighs> Tense situations. I know he's set for Wellington, but like... Hold on, what's that tapping? Oh, I fucking called it. What's going on? Easy. Easy now. Ah. Uh. Clown. Uh huh. What are you doing? We're just leaving. No, you fucking aren't. With that, with the truck that can. Oh my Keep god. Down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? I no, understand. Clem, damn it, just. We don't have time for this. Drop the damn gun. All right, Clem. Drop the gun, Arvo. Now I'm gonna walk up to you nice and slow, and you're gonna give me the gun, okay? Kenny! Jade! Help! They're robbing us! Oh, I'm gonna murder that kid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Clint. I'm gonna murder this kid. I want Arvo oh, dead. <gasps> What are you? Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? Oh my god, flashbacks. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Did Lily do that to Carly? Oh my god. I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? One time. Clem. People don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? I 
I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about, even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That it'll be okay. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> well, let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. <sighs> that was nice to witness seeing Lee again. Flashbacks to episode three of season one. On the left. Slow down. The Shut hell? Up. She's awake. Oh. Hey, you. Clem. Oh, thank God. What happened? Piece of shit, Rusky shot you. Yeah, no we shit. on the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. Okay. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian, but Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. I should have done something. They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. <laughs> Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. Do you want to die out here? You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. Oh my god. I am done playing games with <clears throat> you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We... 
We all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. <laughs> Okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Penny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have Diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Right? Kenny. That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. I don't know how to get through to him anymore. I don't think we can. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? Wait. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. I'll just sit there. Jesus. Shit! Fuck, get out of there. The door is stuck. Shit. Shit, there are more of them. Move. Clem! Clem, hurry! Jane, no. hurry! Shit. Jane, wait! Fuck! Jane! Crap! Oh, God. Nice. I can't see shit. Fuck. This storm is not really helping. This is like really intense right now. Come on, Clem.
Come on, Clem. Come on, Clem. Just a little further. <sighs> oh, I see a door. Come on, come on, come on. What? Okay. Just trust me, Clem. Stay out of what? You have to trust me. We're gonna see what he really is. Is it true? Get out of my way. Penny? I didn't kill him! It was an accident, oh, Kenny! I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. Kenny, let her talk! I'm done talking, Clem. Clem, stay back. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck up! Stop Kenny. I have to stop Kenny. I have to stop Kenny. Are you okay? 
Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Are you fucking kidding me? Understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. I, I can't believe he's alive. He's safe, Clem. It was a stupid plan. I should never have lied to you. But I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. For us. I need to pause because oh, this is so much happening. <sighs> Because Kenny had no right, because in the moment, even if the baby was alive, like, Kenny had, like, we thought, we presumed the baby was dead. He had no right to go and murder her like that. You know, like, he had no right to try to go and basically kill Jane because... AJ died in the car accident or so we thought like that was extremely uncalled for and I saw why she wanted me to see that but part of me is just like really but here's what I'm going to say here's what I'm going to say at this point in time this was extremely heartbreaking this episode but Jane did this because she wanted me to see what Kenny was going to become she wanted me to see this from like an educator's standpoint here she was only doing this to protect me to show me what would have happened if I had just stayed put and let Kenny kill Jane right then and there in that moment? I 
I don't agree with Jane's method on how she handled that. But in this case, I will forgive her. Now. I forgive you, Jane. Thank you. Thank you, Clem. I will forgive you. you about Kenny. But I don't agree with you your method. What he was gonna do. It's over now, Clem. Let's just put all this behind us. Okay. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. That was extremely, extremely difficult to go through. Nine days later. Oh my. Oh my God. So what happened to you? Can't see much from here. Come on. Oh, we're back at Carver's place. Still beautiful as ever, as I had left him. I don't... I don't know how you were able to watch that. Well, I did, because you know what? He fucking deserved it. I'm glad I did. <laughs> Here's the food. Clem, there's formula. Bonnie was right. Greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. What? Clem. Come on. They don't look armed. Is this your place? It's big. Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah? Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just hungry. We've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? Where you girls been? Why do you care? Whoa, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. You don't want to know. Yeah, sure. We're all walking a tough road. Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Ah, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. We won't make it another night out here. <laughs> Look. I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things, but I'm asking you, as a father, please, don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. It could be anybody. Do we really want to go through this again? Please, we'll die out here. Just give us a chance. Give us a chance to prove ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna pause it again, right here, in this moment, because, the, like, we have been through some tough shit. Clementine has been through some tough shit since season one. She has been through so much dilemma, drama, and everything that has been going on. In season one, she had to deal with all the nonsense that Larry gave Lee because he didn't like the fact that Lily was nearby. Had to go with all the fact with Lily losing her fucking mind about who was stealing supplies. Shoots Carly in the head, goes from there and all that such. She had to go through the moment where we had to deal with Kenny, you know, losing it about the train and everything. Like, and 
all that, Clem has been through a lot of shit since season one, and she has witnessed a lot in season two. The thing, though, that I feel like Clem has done is with all of these groups that she has been, it's been learning experiences. Yes, we may not be able to trust these people at first, but my thing is if we can make them, you know, a part of the group and we can teach them the ways on how this, how running a group can be just successful, just successful, it can be okay in the long run. So for this instance, I'm going to say to invite them in. Come in. Thank you. Around the side. You sure about this? This place is a mess, and I don't know how long that food will last. Maybe we can start something here, Jane. It's not much. But we'll make it better. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You Just know? keep your eyes on him. I'll be fine. My name's Patricia. Jane. Thank you, Jane. Don't mention it. Thank you so much. Of course. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. So are we just going to leave it right there? Where we see the gun? Yep. 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 We're going to end it right there. Great. Oh. All right. Let's see what our decisions are from this episode and everything. Because so much shit went down in this episode. A lot of shit went down. So let's just see. You and 58.6% of the players protected the baby in the scene where we where we were shooting all the um, all of the people from Arvo's group, you know, in the very, very beginning. Duh, that was the right call to make protect the baby. Duh. Because if you don't, you duh, stupid. Went to help Luke. You and 66.7% of players did not try to help Luke. I'm assuming for when he fell in to the river, to the lake from the ice and we had to watch him die. So I, I, I'm in the majority and I know that's big bad that like a lot of people agree with me in that situation. But like, again, if we try to help him, Clem would have risked getting hypothermia. <clears throat> and that was something we did not want. So that was unfortunate to witness. Asked to leave with Mike. You and 80.9% of players didn't ask to leave with Mike. Why would we leave with Mike? That was dumb. I liked Kenny and Jane at that time. So I guess they had issues to work out, but like, bruh. Bruh. So that one was like a, a gimme. Um, you and 50.9% of players shot Kenny. So that was fairly even split but a hair more towards stopping Kenny by shooting him than allowing the situation to happen and getting Jane done interesting and then in the end me and 21.4% of players are with Jane and the family in Carver's stronghold 
That is very interesting. That is very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just skip the credits because of music copyright purposes and all of that good hunky doing this. And I just want to talk about this episode, about this season as well, because this was the final episode of season two, the final episode. And I just, I just have to say this season, like I really, really appreciated all of the upgrades for the quick time events that we witnessed with everything going on, like having to move down or to the sides or all of that. Like they updated the quick time events. They made them more intense. I really, really liked that, especially when we were in the middle of like the herd at Carver's place when we were trying to escape at the very end of like episode three. They really made that intense and I liked that. I really, really liked what they did there. Great, fantastic. I really liked getting to know all of these characters that we have come to know since the beginning of this season. I really liked seeing Bonnie make an appearance. And then there was a little scene that we saw Shell and Becca from the 400 Days bonus episode at that place too. It was nice to see them there as well. And then Bonnie eventually is like, I'm going to join your group. So we got Bonnie for a little bit more until the incidents that happened at the lake in this episode. It was really cool to see. I really, really liked that. And, uh, you know, oh my gosh, Kenny. Getting to see Kenny alive in episode two and just seeing him from here, from there on out till the very, very end. Because apparently it could have gone both ways. You could have gone with Kenny and he would have been alive or you kill Kenny and you go with Jane. It was one or the other. Who did you side with more? And personally for me, Jane had this um, way of thinking in this world that I think is just best suited for Clementine. You know, cause she's grown up with this apocalypse in the background. She's grown up with this. So I, I felt like someone like Jane showing her the ways of how to maneuver your way through this world, I thought like Jane was like a perfect role model. And again, I don't agree with Jane's methods on how she handled the whole situation with pretending that AJ was dead from by an accident from the car accident and all that. I don't agree with her methods in doing so, but she was right in proving what Kenny could become in that kind of situation. She was right in that way. Again, don't agree with her lying to me, saying AJ is dead when actually he's alive. She should have told me that in the first place and then go from there. Should have happened, but it didn't. So again, don't agree with her methods, but in the end, like I saw what Kenny was gonna become and Kenny will have such a legacy for this game, a legacy. For this game and i really liked in this episode specifically getting that flashback after getting shot by fucking arvo after getting shot by him just getting that scene again with lee when clem was a little girl back in season one just getting that scene again with lee was fabulous and revisiting you know the nostalgia that was from the first season right after lily had shot carly and we left her behind it was great to see really great to see this episode was extremely emotional extremely emotional because not only did we go through the entirety of the season and we lost characters like pete Nick, Carlos, Sarah, I really could care less about. Alvin, Rebecca, Bonnie. I think I said Luke. Um, uh, and then there was Reggie. Yeah, 
Reggie. And then there was, you know, all these characters that we have gotten to know. And then basically by the end of the season, they just, they all die. Except for one character. Jane. Jane. Well, I mean, that was my choice. Because again, if I had not shot Kenny, I felt like he would have killed Jane right then and there at the moment. And then we would have been with Kenny at the end. And we would have gone to Wellington. So, again, just, oh my god, and all of that. Carver was an asshole. I'm glad he's dead. Troy was an even major asshole. I'm glad he's dead as well. Um, and all that such. Yes. Yes. The only thing that I will say about this season, I felt like, like things happened at a smooth pace right but i just i personally felt like things were a bit rushed in some scenes i felt like some scenes were a bit rushed in some sort of way like some episodes were fabulous like fabulously like well put together and then there were just episodes where i was like this is going way too fast oh my gosh like what's going on here like oh my goodness gracious like yikes like there was just there was a bit of moments in time where things were just going a little bit too fast, like story plot wise, and it was just like, oh my god, like what's going on, like what's happening, like yeah, like I have to catch up with everything, but you know, but other than that, like phenomenal season, a phenomenal season to The Walking Dead, a phenomenal season, one hundred percent. So we are gonna end this episode right here as Clementine, AJ, and Jane are at Carver's Stronghold Hose. I think that was the name of the garden center or house. I think that's I think that was the name. Hose or house. Probably house dot hose because you know you know typical speed. So house that there and we invited this family in because at that point I was like, you know, let's try to build something. The dude may have had a gun in his back pocket, but obviously, like, they need that for, like, protection and shit when they're out there. And then again, Jane said to be careful. So we're going to, I guess, in the next season, if we play as Clementine again, we'll just make sure that this family doesn't do anything stupid. So... With all that in mind, that is it for this episode for Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 2. Thank you so much for watching this final episode and bearing through all of this emotion. Please feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Feel free to ring those bells and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Next season of Telltale's The Walking Dead is called A New Frontier. So, there are a total of four seasons of The Walking Dead because the fourth season they named the final season because that was when Telltale something happened with the company Telltale and basically they just had to shut down everything that they were working on so they put together like a big final conclusion season for season four for them for for this game series so this next season's not going to be that. We're going to be playing this season called A New Frontier. We're going to be playing a totally different character from what I've seen and from what you all are telling me. So that's going to be interesting. And then there is also a special bonus season entitled Michonne. And if you know the television series as well as I do, Michonne is badass with her katana. And I bet you anything there's going to be a lot that's going to be described about the character Michonne in that special season. And don't worry, we'll get to all of that sooner or later. Just when it comes time for playing more Telltale's The Walking Dead, which won't be for a little while because I want some time to work on some other projects before I come back to this game series and we go at it with another season. So we'll come back at it and we'll go from there and we'll just experience more story plot. And all that goodness so as for right now this has been raisin brand thank you so much once again for watching this final episode of season two for telltales the walking dead and i shall see you 
in the next video.